Hello guys, um, recently I did a video on replacing thermal pads on PowerColor 5700 XT. Uh, this is the card, the GPU 5, and as you can see these are the temperatures. I have 62 degrees on the core, 88 on the memory with 40% fan. Uh, the thing is, uh, I only replaced the pads that are put there uh, by the manufacturer, but uh, I saw some people saying that if I put uh, thermal pads on the back plate, that I could uh, shave off uh, another 5 degrees. And I see this many times, so I decided to take out the card, open the back plate, and put the pad there and see if there is any change. So let's uh, let's do it. So what I will do is um, remove this uh, back plate and uh, put three millimeter thermal pads in between. Unfortunately for me, I have to remove everything to remove the back plate. Uh, it's a very bad design, so. I'm not happy about it, but uh, let's do it. As always, I'm using um, uh, G-Lead um, Ultimate, uh, 3mm thickness. I cut the, the pads already, so I'll just place them. And one more and I have some extra I will put on the core okay let's uh, back it up Okay, that's it. Let's um, let's test it and see if there is any improvement at all. So here we are, and uh, the card actually performs worse. Uh, I managed to to probably move some memory pad or something when assembling it, but um, it's uh, it's performing way worse. So I don't think that. Um, those pads on the back helped at all uh, because I think it has very good transfer of heat anyway to the back plate from the from the card and the uh, verdict is uh, don't do it uh, there is no point in doing it and learn from my mistakes and save your time and money and that's it for today guys uh, take care subscribe share um, like the video and um, see you next time bye bye